Now, in the previous video, we learned how to expand the n terms, and we're going to take the extension a little bit where they may actually ask you to find unknowns. Like, for instance, earlier on we had this that we expanded, we find that we have actually the power n, right? So, usually they will ask you, find that. So, in order for you to find that, they will give you extra clues. So, they have actually given you that if I tell you that the first two terms of this expansion, so I have given you 1 plus 2x, and this was the one that we used earlier on, one, um, 2 minus x over 2 to the power n, and tell, they tell you that the first two terms are a plus bx squared. Now, you have to remember that for any polynomials, usually it will be an ascending order. So, you have to be alert in the sense that a plus bx squared, there was actually a missing value, which is actually x. So, this is actually the same as a a plus 0x plus bx squared. Why they say two terms is really true is because the coefficient of x is 0. So, 0 times x, you don't have to bother about it. So, this is why they consider it as two terms. But normally, when we do any expansion, we always do it in something like a doremi kind of form, right? So, we have the constant, the x, the x squared, the x cubed, and so on. So, this will help us eventually, right? So, I would rather you write it out that way. And now, we are going to make use of the clue that they've given us, right? So what we have is that we have 1 plus 2x, so we just write down 1 plus 2x. Instead of writing this, let's use the expansion that they've given us, and we were asked to simplify, right? So we'll have 2 to the power n minus 2, sorry, minus n, 2 to the power n x over 4, plus n, n minus 1, 2 to the power n x squared, over 32 plus dot 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 okay so in other words when i do an expansion eventually i'll be able to get this all right so let's see which of the terms are we going to use first for me i would take that i will want to find the x term why because the coefficient is zero so it makes things a lot easier because i can just set it to zero for the coefficient so let me try to get out the x term from this expansion here so how do I end up with an x term? Very easy. If I have a 1 here, which is a constant, I must be able to multiply with an x term from the second bracket so that constant and x term will give me an x term. Okay, so I'm going to find term in x. Okay, so in other words, I have constant times this. So I will have 1 times negative n to the power n x over 4. This is one of the terms that will give me the term in x. Now, I will have another term in x. Can you spot it? This is an x term. This is a constant term. So I will be able to multiply these two. I'll be able to get it as 2x times 2 to the power n. Alright, so now if I tidy it up, this will be the same as uh, negative n to the power n over 4 plus 2 to the power n and this whole thing will be x okay i'm sort of like pulling out the x term so this must be the same as 0 x remember because i have 0 x in other words i can actually compare the coefficient which is this part to this right so i can say that negative n to the power n over 4 plus 2 to the power n must be equals to 0. And what I can do is that you will realize that 2 to the power n and 2 to the power n, I can factorize it out. So I'm left with negative n over 4 plus 2 will give me 0. So 2 to the power n equals to 0 is not possible. Okay, you can try. <laughs> There's no way for you to actually get any value. So the only one that makes sense, right, is actually this one here. So this bracket must be equals to 0. So I can have negative n over 4 plus 2 equals to 0. n over 4 is equals to 2. So n is equals to 8. There you have it. So this is the first one that we have. n is equals to 8. So once we have n equals to 8, right, the other terms will come in quite handy because um, they already told you that a will be the constant term. And as you can see from this expansion here, the only way for you to get a constant term is to have constant multiplied by constant. All right? So I have 1 times 2 to the power n will give me 8, which is a constant. Now remember, we've already figured out that n is equal to 8. So a is the same as 2 to the power of 8 
it should give me 256. So there we have it. So we have 256. So now, B is the coefficient of x squared. So in order for you to be able to get the x squared term, you will have to multiply x with x or constant with x squared. Alright, so let's have the constant with x squared first. So this is what we will have. So we will have 1 times n, n minus 1, 2 to the power n over 32 x squared. Okay, so this is constant with the x squared term plus. So now we have the x and the x term. So we'll have 2 times negative n times 2 to the power n over 4 x sorry it's 2x huh? so this one should have been 2x times this so this will give me bx squared all right now again remember we have already found out what is our n term right so we will be able to replace this as 8 times 7 times 2 to the power 8 over 32 x squared plus 2x so this is 2x times negative 8 times 2 to the power 8 over 4x equals to bx squared all right so you can use your calculator to evaluate you'll be able to get this one as 4 4 8 x squared and this one will give you negative 1 0 2 4 x squared so in other words you will be able to get is negative 64 x squared is equals to b x squared so your b is actually negative 64 oh sorry um this is negative 576 so your b value is negative 576 all right sorry for the error